Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Okay, so we're going to get into some NBA action for January the 15th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join. So you'll have access to the VIP club section. You see well, all these tabs here have a whole bunch of great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so it's a pretty full slate of games as we're getting closer to the midway point of the season. And the playoff races are actually really starting to heat up already. The teams want to be playing good ball heading into the break. So let's take a look at some of these games. The first one we want to look at is New Orleans and Dallas. You see here New Orleans comes in burning hot winners of five out of their last six. While Dallas comes in average up winners of four out of their last five and four and two over their last six. If you take a look at the over under, you can see the teams are trending pretty much over the line. Uh, over the last three between the two teams combined, all over the line. The score prediction has New Orleans by five points with a pretty nice level of confidence and prediction of 61%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see the up and downward trend for Dallas. Uh, they were at plus 18 as of the 11th, and they are now climbed up to 24. And New Orleans has been on a steady climb, uh, a steady incline over the past five days. They have jumped pretty far from plus 17 up to plus 26. Head to head wise between the two teams this season, you can see they've played twice with uh, the teams splitting the games. Uh, New Orleans winning. The second one at home and Dallas winning the first one on the road. How consistent are the two teams? Well, you can see Dallas has been more stable with regard to their favorite underdog stats, but you can see uh, not quite as consistent as of late. Since the end of the year, they were at plus 11. Now they're down to plus 8, whereas uh, New Orleans has been pretty inconsistent all year long. They're only at plus 2. So in the end, I like Dallas to take this one at home. I think it could go into overtime to do it. Let's go Dallas by two points. Next game we want to look at is Orlando and the Knicks. The Knicks are really playing good ball. They are coming off of a loss, but they are 5-1 and one over their last six. The Magic, not so much, uh, just 2-4 and four over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, Orlando over three and under three in the last six, but under in the last two, whereas the Knicks have been under in five out of the last six. The score prediction has a pretty high score. I mean, the line isn't out there yet, but this would probably be over the line here at 121 to 116 with about 70% level of confidence. On the power ranks indicator, you can see both on the downward trend, just because of New York I'm losing that one game, they were on a steady upward climb for over a week, and then they dropped significantly just over the course of two days from 25 down to 16. Whereas Orlando went from 21 down to 13. Head-to-head, -head. in the first meeting between the two teams, you can see the odds were dead even, and Orlando won by nine points at home in that contest. Stability-wise, you can see here that these two teams are among the most stable teams in the league. And if you look down here, this was uh, Orlando. They were just at plus one down on November 24th, and since then they've been very, very consistent. So right now they are at plus 12, and the Knicks at plus 13. So in the end here, I like the Knicks in a game under the line. San Antonio and Atlanta, we won't look at that one. Golden State and Memphis. I mean, these are all pretty pretty nice games. But we're just taking a look at five of them today. You can take a look at the others at your leisure. Uh, Chicago and Cleveland. This is going to be a good one. Both teams coming in playing really well. You can see both burning hot. Three-game winning streak for Chicago. Four-game winning streak for Cleveland. If you look at the over-under streak, you can see over in just two out of the last six for Chicago and over in only three out of the last six for Cleveland. Um, the score prediction, look at this. You can see how close the teams are matched up. The score prediction has Chicago by a mere point with 77% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, both teams are pretty stable here right now. An upward climb and then stability for Cleveland at plus 19 and a slight trend on the upward uh, for Chicago as of the last couple of days after a steep upward climb the previous few days before that and right now they're at plus 15. Head-to-head uh, -head wise this is, will be the second meeting between the teams this season you can see that Chicago lost by 14 at home the last time so it was a really big road uh, win for Cleveland last time back on December the 23rd. Stability-wise, you can see that Chicago is at plus 9, 
Cleveland is at plus eight. If you take a look at the uh, over under, uh, we take a look at that already. So I'm not gonna go over that again. So I guess it's just time to make the pick. I was thinking about it for a while, but I really do like um, Cleveland winning this one. The biggest thing is that the Bulls are only five and twelve on the road, and Cleveland is thirteen and eight. That's a big factor. So let's go with Cleveland. I'm gonna pass on the over under. Boston and Toronto. Miami and Brooklyn. We're going to look at Indiana and Utah. You see both teams coming in burning hot. Indiana is 5-1 over their last six, as is Utah. So both teams really playing great ball. Um, the over-under, you can see the teams have been mostly under the line as of late. Uh, two out of the last three for both teams under the line. The score prediction has Utah by a surprisingly large amount of 16 points, 124-108 with 49% level of confidence in the prediction. I mean, the Jazz are 8-2 over the last 10. They're playing great ball. Uh, they're still under 500, but they are making a push. And Indiana right now is um, fourth in the Eastern Conference. If you take a look at Utah's home record, they're 12-5. and five. They're playing really well at home. Head-to-head uh, -head wise, the teams met back on November the 8th with Indiana winning by a large margin, 16 points as a home favorite. Take a look here at the volatility oscillator. You can see Indiana not very consistent. You see they were at plus two back on November the 12th. And here we are uh, like two months later and there's they're zero. So they've been very inconsistent over the last two months. Whereas uh, Utah has been moderately consistent. But you can see not really uh, being any more consistent than early on in the season there right now are at plus six. So what I'm thinking about is I'm going to go with Utah on this one. I think this is going to be Utah win and cover in a game over the line. And the last game we want to look at is Oklahoma City and Los Angeles. If you take a look at this, the teams are heading in opposite directions. Oklahoma City 4-2 and two over the last six, winners over the last three. The Lakers are ice cold down, just 2-4 and four over the last six. Um, the over-under, Oklahoma City involving games over the line and five out of their last six. Whereas the Lakers, three games over, three games under in their last six. Take a look at the power ranks indicator. Uh, Oklahoma City all the way up to the top here, plus 29. The Lakers have been up and down. They haven't really been very high since, let's see, the high point was back here on, uh, where was it? December the 12th, and now they are at plus 8. Uh, the score prediction is all Oklahoma City, a nine-point comfortable margin of victory, 123-114. But you can see it's only 45%. So take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to the game time. Head-to-head-wise, this will be the third time the teams have met this season. Both games were in Oklahoma City, and the first game was a blowout by Oklahoma City. The second one was a nine-point win uh, by the Lakers. This time, I think it's going to be... The Thunder. I like the Thunder. I mean, Los Angeles is 13-7 at home, but Oklahoma City has one of the best road records in the league at 11-6, and they're just really playing great ball. They're tied for the top spot in the Western Conference. I like um, Oklahoma City in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for January the 15th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.